All right, guys, so the product we're gonna be talking about today is uh, BomberTech Pindad, and it is the, from what I understand and what I remember, one of the first or the second squonkable RDTAs, and it was brought to you at the mass market, because at the time, well, let's actually slow it down a little bit. Let's reverse that shit, and let's look at some pictures, maybe some photos, and then we will discuss this little gem ski. Let's do this. All right, guys, so when it comes to the pin dad, and um, you know, I've had this thing for a, a while now, and it used to be like an all day hitter for me, my all day vape. And I, it didn't, it's not that I necessarily don't like it anymore, it's just that I've gone on to bigger and better things. Now, this is a mass market product marketed as a high end product. Now, they do a little bit better job than most in the mainstream, and I would say that this is up there in my collection when it comes to mainstream RDAs, RDTAs. Now, um, it, it's not a bad device is what I'm saying, but I don't want to really give it away, so. Let's drop down to the table. Let's discuss, let's dissect, let's intersect, let's uh, diverge, let's divergent. Let's do this. All right, guys, so this is the packaging the little gem ski itself comes in. Um, it's like a leather-esque type hockey puck type deal. Not bad, a little bit of a embroidery type deal going on right there because, you know, you got to get your embroidery game up. You got to be Susan B. Anthony. You got to be what you got to be, you know what I'm saying? If that's your calling in life, I dig it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to hate and I'm not going to support, or maybe I will support. Who knows? But it is going to say pin dad and it's going to say ultimate. A little bit of a play on words, if you will. Looking at the inside, it says Pindad, Bomber Tech, SS Drip Tank, and it has your little foil holographic Scratch Me. Scratch Me, dog. That's a little bit, you know, Dominatrix style, I think. It's like, Scratch Me? Mm, I don't think so. So it's going to say 510, 22 millimeter. So what else is in the package? And I believe I'm missing one thing, and I will apologize ahead of time. But this is the non squonk pin. And you're going to see there's still two little holes right there, and that is for this little feature, which was pretty nice back then. It's weird doing a review now so far removed from this, but this was an interesting concept, and it was something that uh, not necessarily a lot of things did back then. And, and the reason I went out and searched for this when I did buy this was because... Um, you know, you could stick your e you know, your drip tip in here or of your juice bottle and it would fill your tank. So a nice little feature right there that, you know, back then was kind of innovative, really. One more thing you're going to have is this uh, dual sided airflow adjustment ring. And all right, guys, so this is the little gem ski itself and I disassembled it. I wasn't going to at first, but I feel like it's it's a disservice if I do not. So let me just zoom in a little bit and just push this stuff up a little bit. All right, so this is the, all right, so this is the top part or the top cap section. Sorry, my fingers are a little bit sweaty, if you will, because I'm, you know, a sweaty person. Not really, actually. I don't even know why I said that. But okay, so the one part, like I told you that I was missing is this little ring top, which is where your drip tip's gonna go in. And yeah, uh, it's just an Ultim piece and that's it. It's gonna match your tank. So this is your, single-sided airflow adjustment ring, I guess you could say. Nice, not bad, you know, it isn't a uh, cheap feeling. I feel like it's, you know, stainless steel, it is what it is. You have your uh, top cap, which is nicely engraved, uh, super nicely engraved. It says Pindad, which is the name of this device. Other side blank, and it, it just a nice little design aesthetically if you look at it. They did a very nice job overall for presentation and aesthetics on this, and, and I gotta give them credit for that. Uh, the machining is nice, uh, threading is nice, I'll show you that in a second. So when you put it in, the little nub parts right here uh, are going to be on top and they're going to match with, let me get a, let me get an, an, an instrument of poking. So they're going to match with this part right here and you know, very easily it just drops in. I mean, it's not like it's a big deal. Drops in, good to go and then you're just going to thread this back on. 
Oh, that was nice. Sorry, I'm doing it through the camera, but the threading is actually very nice. Thread it right back on. Super nice to go. And, you know, not too much of a eyesore when it comes to the gappage. Yeah, it looks pretty good right there. So one side is going to be blocked off. And the other side is going to be open. So whatever side you decide to put that on. Right here you have the deck of the little gem ski itself. And you're going to have your positive, which is going to be floating a little bit above the deck with the peak or, you know, whatever that substance is right there. Take a look at the bottom. And this is the reason that I wanted to take this apart. And it's going to be this part right here. And that is your single sided, you know, blocker. And it's going to block you from leaking juice everywhere out on top. Now, you do have to take your 510 pin out in order to do all this, but that's normal, I think. But even back then, it was not too much of a big deal. And, you know, you have actually, you do have two sides where the juice comes out, but it, one is blocked with that. You're not going to waste too much juice space with that, but I, I don't know if it was necessarily the best or the most efficient way to make something single sided. So, you know, that's for you to decide, not me. Threading ain't bad on this as well. You got double O-rings holding the tank and the other part together. So yeah, not bad. Um, a nice little, you know, deck section, if you will. It's very, very condensed, very, very uh, uh, small chamber. So you're gonna have two squonk holes on each side, like I said, and a squonk pin. I, this is all gold plated, I'm guessing. Um, I haven't had any issues with the gold plating coming off, so um, there is that. Now here can be a little bit of a pain in the butt when you're trying to get it back on, but if you would just hold your positive post in and screw in, um, yeah, that's what she said, really. So there you go, that is the pin dad, and it, it, it's a nice looking thing. The only thing I would say is a pain in the ass are these small little baby bitch posts and the small baby bitch grub screws, but if you do have a uh, coil master uh, you know screwdriver they'll fit in there just fine so it's not like it's some special little baby bitch screwdriver or Phillips head or flathead I guess but you do have something a little bit unique uh, to today's standards and that is the velocity post but back then this was the hot shit this was the big deal and you're gonna see where it's blocked off here and here and then you're gonna have your pressure release holes right here and right here for when you fill down the center with your e-juice bottle so yeah, not bad. Um, you're going to see the posts are a little bit cockeyed looking, but they, it doesn't make that big of a deal. I'm telling you, it's really not that uh, not that much. So yeah, small post, small deck, um, big flavor, I guess. So one last thing, let's take a look at the bottom. SS drip tank, 22 millimeter. Uh, I believe that's what it is, 22 millimeter, 510 squonk. This was a big deal back then, especially with a... Uh, uh, RDTA because there was no squonk war DTAs back then. This was one of the only ones. Uh, the other one back then would have been the Ogeni V1, and that thing was almost 200 bucks. On the other hand, this was like 60. So yeah, that's it. it says Pin Dad, and that is the name of you know this thing. So let's put a build in this bitch, and yeah, let's do this. All right, guys, so this thing is not exactly the hardest thing to build in the world. Um, you know, it's just a velocity style deck, which is something you don't necessarily see too often anymore. And I know one of the things that people really enjoy about my channel is how great I am at building and how great I am about putting coils in, to be honest. I mean, let's be real. For reals, for reals. All right, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to push this bitch all the way in. You know what I mean? You're going to want this thing almost kissing the posts. So the good thing about velocity post was, you know, you really didn't have to do much in order to make it work. You just put the legs in, clip, put the legs in, clip, good to go. And then you just screw down this bitch and that's about it. Now, the one thing about these screws are they are very small. So if you are shaky like me, they can be a little bit of a pain in the dick. But, you know, I think as men, as men or, you know, maybe even women that we we're used to pains in the dick. You know what I mean? It's just the way we roll sometimes especially in West Virginia. If you've ever been here, you know there's a lot of that. So just like that, good to go. Now you're gonna want it, like I said, very close to the post because I mean, if you look at the clearance from here to here, it's not very much. And that's why you, know, you get a good bit of flavor out of this bitch because it's so compact. So just like that, uh, right in the center. Make sure it's heating up nice. Get some of these hot spots out of this bitch. 
Yeah, good to go. So, like I said earlier, you got a condensed deck, so you're not going to want to put a huge coil in here. This is about a 3.0, and it fits uh, quite swimmingly, if you will. Never you really used that expression before. Don't don't really know why I used it, but you know, swimmingly, if you will. So the e juice I'm going to be using today is boba jazzy. I'm taking a little break or a little hiatus from keep it 100, if you will, but um, that's just something that I have to deal with, not you. So you know what I'm saying. Also, let me clear out this build space so it's not so messy. The cotton I'll be using today is a fan favorite, crowd favorite, really. You know what I'm saying. Cotton bacon. No, not Kevin Bacon, but cotton bacon. Uh, yeah, my favorite cotton in the world. I tried to reach out to cotton bacon and they just, you know, ignored me. They didn't like my sales pitch, I guess. But nonetheless, let's put this bitch in here. As always with RDTAs, and I always say this, you don't need a lot of cotton in my opinion. You don't need to stuff the tank. This will probably even be too much. I, I like to make it to where it just rests on the deck. I don't necessarily like to put it into the tank. So really I just rest it on the on the little uh, you know inlets right here, just like that. And it'll it'll wick perfectly. You know what I'm saying? That's that's how I like it, and that's how I'm gonna keep it. So let's put some juice on it. And that's that, guys. Let's go back up on top. All right, guys. So I'm going to try to keep this short, sweet, and to the mother effing point. Don't worry. This is a microphone. This is something that I'm trying out right now. Uh, it might be a little distracting, if you will, but the sound quality with the microphone seems to be just a tad bit better. So that being said, uh, you know, Bomber Tech is a company that I thought was out of France, but I, I believe it is a Chinese made product and a Chinese company. Now, uh, you know, there's been some products in the past that are from China that I do like, and you know, the C-Roll is one of those examples. And even the Serpent BF, which is sitting right here on this, is a product that I enjoyed. I felt like it was my style of vape and it wasn't a bad, a bad device. So let's talk about my approvals, my disapprovals, my dislikes, my likes, my pros, my cons, whatever you want to say about the pin dad. So the first dislike is going to be the fact that some of you aren't going to like gold plating and that's just something that you got to deal with. You know what I'm saying? It's one of them, one of them little quirky things that it, it is what it is and you're not going to be able to see it from the outside. So it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, this thing is very condensed. For those of you who like big coils, you're not going to like this. Dual coil on this gets very hot and it will burn up juice like no other. But squonking on this thing will uh, prove to, uh, you know, alleviate some of that, you know, having to fill the tank all the time. Now, it is about a two mil tank, so it's not really that big of a tank. So you're going to be running through juice, juice regardless, single coil or dual coil. Um, the post, the velocity post, now like I said, this is a classic product, so it's not like, I can't really judge the posts off that, that they are easy to build, but the screws are very tiny, and I feel like those are a con in and of itself. Um, maybe for some of you, the fact that the single-sided uh, plug is on the bottom, maybe you feel like that's taking away juice, and that could be better, you know, betterly, betterly done, if that's a real word. If some of you don't like 510 drip tips, not for you. The price, it's about 75. That may be a con for some of you because it is a Chinese made product. So that may, you know, make you feel some type of way. But I diverge and let's uh, go to the positives. Because that's about all the negatives I can really truly give you. All right, so the first positive, the flavor on this thing is very good. It's it's probably one of my favorite RDTAs that I've used in a long time. I think that the airflow is very smooth. I think it's easy to fill. I think that the uh, option to do a non-squonk and you can fill with a uh, one of these type of bottles without this thing on it, you can push the plug down and it fills. I believe this was one of the first people, first companies to do that. Uh, the fact that this thing squonks back then was a unique design. Um, the only other design, like I said earlier, was the Ogeny V1, and that thing was almost $200, and it was trash. Sorry, but it was trash. This, actually, I bought it around the same time, and I enjoyed this a lot more, and it's about half the price. Uh, building on this thing, super easy. Uh, you know, velocity decks, one leg in, one leg out, super easy. Clip them, good to go. Squonking. 
very big plus. I enjoy squonking RDTAs and this was actually one of my first products that made me want to do reviews and it made me want to uh, you know, squonk. Because squonking was kind of in its infancy back then, I believe. It wasn't mainstream yet, and this proved to be something that could compete with high end, and it really does. Uh, the fact that you can make this dual coil or single coil, and it still uh, keeps its flavor either way, is a major plus. Uh, that being said, I guess one last negative I forgot to mention was the, the you know the tank capacity is like two mils, but it is a squonking RDTA. Uh, for most of you, this thing is a very short RDTA. This is the uh, wicket, and it is uh, a lot taller. I don't know if you can really tell, but it, it's almost a whole top cap taller. So it is about the same size as the Jenna, really. The Jenna is about the same size as this, and it's an RDTA. So compactness is definitely a pro for this. Um, I like the fact that there is a locking mechanism for the, uh, you know, for the airflow adjustment. And I like that this did come with an Ultim uh, top ring, but I just, I don't have it anymore. So let me take another quick little puff ski. Yeah, I wouldn't say that the airflow is loud by any means, and I wouldn't say that it's uh, whistly or anything like that. Now, uh, you know, another positive, but this goes without saying, is you're going to have a hard time making this thing leak. And that is something that, you know, most RDTAs have advantage over RDAs because, you know, if you make an RDTA leak, you, that's on you, buddy boy. That being said, they did send me this as well to show you guys, and it is a reloader, and it comes in a little package like this. And, and, and back when people didn't feel like taking their bottles out and, you know, I don't know if a lot of people still use these, but you can screw this onto your, you know, 510, fill it up, good to go. Now, not a lot of people do that too much anymore, I don't think, but that is something, it's an option. They got purple, red, blue, and I don't know, they may have black as well, but they sent me purple and I think they sent me blue as well, but I don't know where that one is at either. That being said, the price on this thing, about 75 bucks. That's for the Ultimate Edition, which is Ultim and you know stainless steel, or you can get, I believe, Ultim in black. I will put a picture of maybe some more colors here, but there are different versions. They have an, not a lot of devices and stuff that they sell, but this is one of their best devices they have. They do have an RDA as well, but this by far is their uh, top-notch shit. I do recommend this. I mean, if you have the extra 75, or even if you can find it, you know, secondhand somewhere, this is definitely a piece that you want to have if you like RDTAs. I think the flavor is great. It is a, it, it's just a knock out of the park. Uh, I will take one last quick little hit. Yeah, this thing is a very, very good RDTA, and I think if you have the extra, if you have the extra scrap, you might as well get it. Not, not sure if I uh, mentioned, but uh, down below, you can lock your uh, airflow ring into the outlets that stick out from the deck, and it makes sure that your uh, top cap doesn't spin all the way around. But that being said, guys, uh, no links for this. I'm sorry, because I don't know if that will get me a strike or not. You know how YouTube is. But uh, that being said, definitely pick this up, bombertech.com, and it is a good choice. So I want to thank, uh, ooh, going a little bit too quick. You guys like e-juice? Maybe, maybe some cotton, maybe some tweezers. Why don't you go check out Premium Vape Supply and use my discount code. Maybe you can buy some e-juice like Keep It 100, whether that's here or here or here. One last place on top of the microphone. You got it, 20% off your whole purchase. Why don't you go check out Lion Wholesale, get yourself some batteries. These are just some innocent little baby plugs. You know what I mean? I got I got to put them out there. I got to just shuffle them out to you. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got to do it. But that being said, guys, uh, check us out on Monday. Uh, not this Monday, but next Monday, uh, we will have uh, Sasa, I'm probably going to murder your name, but I'm sorry, but from Van and Dell, and he's going to be on the live show, not this Monday, but next Monday. That should be a good show, just, you know, BS kicking it, maybe discussing some of the current vape, uh, the vape, uh, you know, culture right now, what's going on, the, you know, what with all the bands and all that stuff. He uh, would probably like to input on that. So I do thank you guys very much. Um, got some merch coming out. If you guys are interested, I will uh, put the pictures of them up a little bit right here. If you want to, you know, support the channel in that way, uh, join the Facebook group, and I will be selling some to whoever would like it. But yes, as always, guys, thank you very much, and uh, yeah, let's do this.